Okay, so I'm out on the site of a uh, former schoolhouse that also saw some Civil War activity. I've, you know, gotten some flat buttons out of here. I don't want to show too much, so I'm going to give away where I'm at. But um, So, anyway, I found some, uh, up by the Civil War Road, I found, you know, Civil War bullets before and also found some uh, turn-of-the-century nickels and things. And it's really junky in here, so I've got the MXT. But I just get my first good signal of the day, and I've got a, uh, looks like a dropped... 44 Colt Dragoon, so that's a good start, and uh, hopefully they will find something else in here. Come back to you. Okay, so Mark and I are out at this little vacant lot today hunting, and I'm using the small coil on the MXT. Uh, my first good target was this, uh, this looks like some sort of uh, aluminum good luck token. It says Florida on one side, and uh, something... I can't read it all, but anyway, there's a good luck token. So, uh, anyway, that's a good little start. Hopefully, it brings us some good luck. Maybe so. Bye. Okay, well, I'm at a different I'm at a different site today. Uh, used to be some 1950s houses here. It's been uh, scrubbed, and uh, they're going to fix and put some new houses in here. So, I came in here looking for some deep stuff. I'm using the Equinox, and uh, looks like I just got a Rosie. Uh, looks like I think it's a 1959. So, that's a that's a good little target. Hopefully there's some more in here, so I'll keep coming back to you. Uh, I just got my second weedy out of this little area by these big old, uh, these big old live oak trees. This place has been scraped, but there's some areas where the, sorry about the wind noise, where the coins are still there. But these are deep. I knew it was going to be a weedy, but I thought, well, maybe it's a, you know, but this signal was good and then when I started digging it it disappeared and whenever you have that happen keep digging because sometimes when you shove your shovel in you can actually move the target deeper in the hole and you can't pick it out so I took another big shovel full out and there's your wheat penny so nothing great but it is something so so I'm out here with the uh, Knox again and I'm in a very obvious place I'm hunting around just very cherry picking I just got a, uh, a bouncy 28 and uh, I got a 44 Merc. So uh, it was kind of bouncy a little bit, but I uh, figured there might, there's got to be some silver in here, and I got one. So nice little Merc. See it's got a, I don't, can't tell if it's got a mint mark on it, but hey, Mercs are always fun to find. Beautiful coin. Come back. Here. Okay, well, I'm out at a uh, vacant lot that got cleared not long ago. It had a house on it in the 50s. It's really trashy, but I just had a good signal. And dug down. I thought I was going to have a silver, but uh, I've got some sort of token. It's got a see. It's got an eagle on here, and looks like it's got some buildings and a bridge or something. I don't know what it is. It's kind of in a bad neighborhood, but uh, so I'm just going to get it and keep going. So come back to you. Okay. So my next find is this greeny. It's a. Uh, uh, it's an old wheat penny. I can't quite make out the date. Um, but it's an old one. It's pretty worn. Uh, it came up about a 25. It was about six inches deep. Um, so maybe I'm a little hot spot here. So I'll keep. I'll come back to you. Okay. Well, I just got it. My first nickel with the uh, with the Knox. It's uh, about I don't know. It's about 36 degrees this morning. I'm at a different old school. I've been really trying to listen for nickel signals. They're fun to find. I mean. This is nothing special, it's just a Jefferson, but uh, this is an old school. There's a potential, maybe you know, something old might be here if it isn't all fill dirt. But, you know, I'm just tickled to find a nickel. It's nothing, like I said, nothing special, but it's fun to do. And, uh, uh, you know, if you're digging those signals, you know, eventually you're going to find one. So it's kind of fun. Come back to me. 